Hi, I'm James. Hi, I'm Ian. And today is Christmas Day 2017. And right in front of us is Ian's primary Christmas gift, and I don't have a clue what it is. Ian, tell us about this plane. This is the Tech One Venus EPO Foam F3A 3D plane. I notice it says right here, your number one plane for 3D practice. And uh, on the back it says, your dream in... 3D flying starts here, so I think this is a good entry-level 3D plane. We're going to see what Ian can do with it. Okay, so where did I order this from, Ian? My dad ordered it from MotionRC.com. That's right. Ian was very specific about what he wanted for Christmas, <clears throat> and uh, I ordered the item he asked for. And we got the plane, and there was a battery that you wanted, too. What was the model of that battery? Uh, Admiral... Two cell 450 milliamp hour battery that has a JST connector pre installed. Yeah, I think that was the one that was recommended for it on the Motion RC website, I believe. That's correct. Okay. All right, well, let's open the box. Uh, oh, yeah. All the way, all the way. And the box is empty. Okay. Okay, so this is how it's packed foam insert. And it looks like everything is placed in here very carefully. Here's the battery back here. Uh, this looks like it's got instruction manual and uh, decal stickers. Set that to the side. Let me spin this around. When I inspected it, when it arrived, this box right here has the battery in it. And they, they taped it inside here. And, uh, and that should be it. It says right there, 2S450 7.4. So let's start with that. This was a separate item. This is uh, the ARF, so what does it have? It has oh. the motor, a speed controller, and servos. No receiver? No receiver. Actually, it would be called a plug-and-play. Plug-and-play is it's what, okay. what Ian would call it. On the box, it said ARF, didn't it? Like, not... they also do sell as an ARF. Oh, okay. But I think that's more for, like, not including the motor. Right, right. So here's the, the Admiral battery, so... Uh, is this the one you're expecting? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's the uh, Admiral 2S457.4 volt. It's a 30C battery. This is the connector that you were talking about, the JST. It's a, a pretty delicate uh, aircraft. This is the fuselage. It's a profile. It's got the motor mounted in there. Uh huh. Servos are mounted here. He's got the push rods. They're not connected yet. You want to hold that for me? Yes. <laughs> right here. It's a little bag with some fins or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spinner. Actually, you got three spinners. They're foam. Well, that's pretty good. They give you three of them. I guess they're expecting you to either lose them or break them. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get over here. A nice bright orange propeller. Do you have any idea what the pitch is of this, the diameter and pitch? Um, for diameter pitch, I didn't really study that carefully. Sorry. <laughs> well, I can tell you it's a, a 9 by 5 It says GWS EP 9050. So here we go with the landing gear. Yeah, and it's uh, all very lightweight. Uh, the landing uh, gear covers and the, the wheel pants are just foam. Doesn't hardly weigh anything. What do you think this is? The wing. <laughs> There's the wing. Boy, those are some huge ailerons. Ooh, there, here, okay, here's your elevator. All foam. There's no real hinge there. It's just creased in. It was that way on the ailerons as well. People so far? That's good. I guess that's our rudder. It actually has some little hinges in it. I think I got everything out of here. Primary components are the fuselage with the motor, the ESC, and three servos installed. Let's see. This servo here must be for the ailerons. It's actually mounted in the fuselage. You can hold that. We have the wing. I'll just do a little trial fit here. Yeah. It's a nice snug fit, but not too tight. Shaping up. Elevator. 
stabilizer. And the rudder. Yeah, there it is. There it is with the rudder. We're gonna go put it together and bring it back once it's assembled and ready to go. Okay, so we've put most of the pieces together, but we haven't glued anything in just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. Ideally, you should have some foam safe CA glue to assemble this model. And I'm actually out of it right now, so we're going to use some six minute epoxy, glue the wings, stab and rudder in, the horns, and the bracing rods. We're going to use epoxy to do that. So hold tight. We got all the gluing done and as you can see I went through several little cups of epoxy. Um, it was a little bit of a hassle and uh, while it was fast drying epoxy, six minute epoxy, uh, we still had to hold pieces in place until, until it would really grab. So having some foam safe CA would really be ideal. But I think we, we've got everything secure. Uh, the only thing left we have to do now is install push rods and yes. install the receiver and then do some tests. So bear with us, we'll be right back. Just a quick update. Uh, we've been wrestling with uh, hooking up the controls, uh, the push rods for the elevator, um, it's pull-pull for the rudder and the push rods for the ailerons. The elevator push rod is definitely a little too short and the way it is set up it's just a solid rod with clevises on each end. And the clevises just push on and have set screws and uh, I needed to loosen them both and, and extend them all the way to the edge to where they're just barely grabbing the rod and even so, I uh, have to push a little up elevator to get it to neutral. So the elevator push rod's a little too short. Had no trouble with the ailerons. They're on the top and uh, one on each wing. No trouble with those. But the rudder, uh, which is a pull-pull system, I was trying to get the rudder horn centered and I realized that it just is slipping on the servo. It's something is stripped. I'm not sure what the problem is. But uh, we're going to see if we can't do something to fix that. Other than all that, it's a nice plane. <laughs> but if you do get one of these, be prepared for a little trouble. Well, we've completed our assembly and we're pretty well done with it. It was a long day, I have to admit. I don't know how long we were in here working on this. What do you think, Ian? 
Maybe like several hours. Several hours. Yeah, it was. Uh, or six it, hours, maybe. Oh, it was okay. a more major undertaking than I would have expected, and um, but we think everything's set up and working. Uh, we're going to do a quick test with the transmitter, and I got the battery that that we ordered with it. Here we go. We're plugging in the battery. Okay. We uh, actually did a test a while ago to center all the servos. I discovered that every channel had to be reversed, including the throttle. All right, I'm going to leave this off. Let's just do a test here. Yeah, we have some down elevator again because of the short push rod. This is neutral in the elevator and it's down. So we'll put a little trim in it to try and get it back level. The rudder's pretty close. Let's see. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's check this out. Uh, well, you do it, Ian. Give me some ailerons. Look at that thrust. You're going to give me some elevator up and down. And let's do the rudder one more time, left and right. Looks like we got it. Let's go ahead and spin up the motor. You don't trust me. All right. And there it is. So this is the Tech One Venus EPO 3D from Motion RC. And uh, we should get it out and up in the air in a few days. And we'll have another video to follow. Well, I think that concludes our unboxing of this airplane. Hope you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more. I've been James. I've been Ian. See you out at the field. See you later.